In this video, I'll take a detailed look at Digital Leaf Controls, the predecessor to Digital Advance. This is what Digital Advance was originally before it came Digital Advanced. And this logic seems a bit rushed and unfinished. Some of it seems not that well refined, like the people that made it wanted to build it quick. It's blind VF logic, lots of different variants of blind VF were built in like the late 90s, early 2000s, very popular, not that efficient, doesn't really do anything that well. And the menus are slightly odd, so we do lift off, uh, lift operation setup. If we go in there, it's literally got all the parameters. This is every parameter you need for a blind VF, so it's quite simplistic. So at runtime, various timers, most of runtime limit, car preference time, pause time, it's literally every single of those little delays and things you'd have on a very simplistic blind VF, it's all there, you've got like fire floor, emergency recall floor, anti-nuisance, where it cancels calls to interesting many, so that's all quite simplistic. Let's go back and press setup to try a different menu, then lift test modes, and uh, inhibit doors, that, uh, so you can send up and down without it. Working the uh, re-leveling, next call mode, this is literally simplistic. It's literally just a blind VF that tells the VF when to go using a rather simplistic set of parameters. So now if we exit that, parameter inhibit. Oh, we need a password for that. Uh, lift test modes, lift operation, omega indicator setup. So if we go on that, position speed, message speed, arrow speed. So we can set so for the arrow to go faster on the indicator, that's where you do that. Floor number, one equals G. Oh, this is interesting. So if you set a floor to G, it's always ground floor. G can never be garden. There's a hard link between the floor number and the message it gives. It's really stupid. So now if I want to change ground, now I can change that to anything. So let's do the ground floor message, because we're on ground floor. Then I can change it to, oh, this is interesting. It's a hard set of limits that you can name your floors. So you don't really have much control. An interesting thing is on Digital Advanced, the logic has superseded this logic. You can set the indicator to anything you like, but the voice will only speak if you set it to something it's got a message for. So you set it to like ZZ, it will say nothing. But if you set it to UG, it will be upper ground. Even if UG is something completely different, it will only say upper ground for UG. But on this older digital lift controls logic, you can only set the indicator to set messages where there's a link to a voice message it can say. So there's very little options of what you can set the indicator to. So let's set that to upper basement for ground floor. Then for first floor, which is floor ID 2, let's set it to, let's try S, whatever S is for, for first floor. So, so now let's enter in a call. So press the call button to enter a call. Press what floor we want, then press enter. And as you can see, it's so a bottom drive. Lift. So now let's go and see if our messages worked. S. Ah, oh, so floor one is now S, well floor ID two is S, and the ground floor, which is floor ID one, is upper basement. Now you've got to hear the classic digital lift controls voice, which sounds... Is going up. Stupid as always. Doors closing. Upper basement and S. So I'll be store floor, it? No announcement. Door opening. I didn't say anything for two. This lift is going up. Doors closing. Upper basement floor. So on this, literally, you can only set it to set floors. When digital advanced, one of the places you can set it to anything, Doors but it only open. speaks if you give it a set floor. So it's simplistic. You can't give it a floor and call it something else. So it's very limited. And one of the best messages on this is fire mode. It sounds so <laughs> stupid. This lift is under fire control operation. It sounds so thick, oh. Now we're going to run it on inspection. Inspection. Oh, that's the best one from digital lift controls. Out of service for maintenance. Now, inspection's very simplistic. It's literally just sending a signal to a blind VF. There's not much to say about it. It's back to normal. Lift resetting. It's lost position. It's lost position. And there's found position again. Blind VF. This is the typical sort of VF drive. Now, if we go into lift info, oh, it tells you Service visit, or oh, you can log your visit. Total journeys, oh fucking hell. Total door cycles. Total, uh, total journey since last visit. Total cycle since last visit. I've got a feeling that the engineers don't put it on service mode when they service it. We've got a load of stuff about the CAN bus. Uh, so we've got a fault logger. Oh, fault. Let's try a fault logger. What's in there? 
and oh, it's no, no faults to see. So literally, I've already gone through pretty much all of this uh, lift's menus. I've done door operation set up, but uh, we've got things like does it park the doors open? It's literally it's very, very basic. Does it ignore the beam sensors and stuff? This door dwell time. And so now, if I go to set date and time, we don't want to do that. So we've got him. Info board, main board, speech unit is separate, but speech unit is controlled through that info, it's separate, there's no serial port on it to control it. Hand winding unit, blind VF drive. So on this blind VF drive, motor parameters, closed loop evacuation, protecting output signals, input signals, motor control, closed loop, speed, and Z, it's all your basic blind VF settings. Literally, it just works and signal. It gets like you get reference one full speed, reference two leveling speed, reference three inspection speed, and another signal say whether it's to go up or down. That's it. It's just four circuits from that into VF. It's, I can literally program this myself. It's such a simple thing. And last thing, just testing out my favourite mode. I'm afraid I just have to do this because this is too good not to do. Oh, switching frequency. Been a call. I think I've said everything about it. Simplistic, not much to say about it. Is it the only thing that's interesting about it is it's a predecessor to Digital Advance so this sort of shows you the evolution of how this turned into the later logic. And that's about it. Now let's surf it. And that's uh, going to motor in there. And as the lift was the bottom drive, you can see up at the top of the shaft is the two pulley wheels to get to the motor room. So this is above the shaft, and it's very interesting. This look through there, lift the shaft.